Welcome to Focus 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Eulen. For more information, go to bobeulen.com slash Focus 2D. This tutorial is called Sneaky Joystick. Here is a real joystick. On iPhone and iPad, we can use virtual joysticks. Here is a joystick that we can use to move things around with and a button we can use to shoot at things. Here is an example of a real game. There are several virtual joysticks in Cocos 2D. One of them is sneakiness and that's the one we will use in this tutorial. You can find sneakiness at this address. If you don't find it there, then Google with the two words sneakiness and sneaky input. When I downloaded sneaky input, it came with 20 files. We are only interested in eight of them. The four having to do with sneaky button, and the four having to do with sneaky joystick. Let's go to Xcode and see how we can create a sneaky joystick. We are inside Xcode. Our task is to implement a joystick that lets you control the position of an airplane on the screen. Our plan is to use sneakiness. There have been several joystick implementations for Cocos 2D and sneakiness is one of the more popular ones. You can download sneakiness classes from the internet in order to implement a joystick. That's what I have done here. I have created a new group which I called Sneakiness and two subgroups called Button and Joystick. Inside the Button group I have imported four files from the Sneakiness. These four files represent two classes. They are called Sneaky Button and sneaky button skinned base. Inside the joystick group I have also imported four files from the sneakiness. These four files represent the two classes sneaky joystick and sneaky joystick skinned base. In this tutorial we will only look at the joystick part. So, we will work with these two classes, Sneaky Joystick and Sneaky Joystick Skinned Base. Let's go back to our plan. Apart from using sneakiness, we will also use a method called Schedule Update. Schedule Update is a method defined in CC Node. When you send a schedule update message to a node, it will cause the node to have an update method called each and every frame. The word frame here refers to frame per second. That is the frequency at which an imaging device produces unique consecutive images. Normally, Cocos 2D tries to run 60 frames per second on a device. So typically our node will receive about 60 update calls every second. Let's now look at our own classes. We have nothing special. Hello World layer is empty. In our resources we have three images. An air fighter a joystick and D-pad. 
DPAD stands for directional pad. Let's write some code. Go to hello world layer .h. The first thing we want to do is to import the needed files from Sneakiness. Paste some code. And here they are. We need to have two instance variables. One for our air fighter and the other one for the joystick. Paste some code. What kind of object is this sneaky joystick? If we go to the interface file, we see that sneaky joystick is a CC node that can handle touches. Go back to hello world. In our init method, we want to add our airplane. Paste some code. Here is our airplane in the middle of the screen. Then we want to initialize the joystick and schedule update. Let's first write init joystick. Paste some code. And here is what we do. First we create an object called joystick base which belongs to the class joystick skinned base. And what kind of object is this? Let's go and look. It is a CC sprite that has three instance variables. Two sprites and one sneaky joystick, which we saw was a node. Let's go back. We have created such an object and as we said it has three instance variables that we are setting here. Then we give our joystick a position and add it to this layer. Here we are retaining the joystick. We are doing that because we need the velocity of the joystick. That is how much it has moved in X direction and how much it has moved in Y direction during the last delta time tick. Actually, the velocity is the only info we need in order to calculate how much we should move our airplane. If we look at the sneaky joystick class, we see a lot of variables but only the velocity is of interest to us. Back to hello world layer and write the update method. Paste some code. Observe that update method comes with a parameter called delta time. Here we are multiplying the velocity of the joystick with some factor. Here we calculate the new position of our airplane. And then we just set the new position. Let's run this. There we have our airplane and there is our joystick. And if we move the joystick we see that the airplane follows along. I can also move it outside the screen, but then it's hard to get it back inside the screen. So what I would like to do is to wrap the movement, so that if I move the airplane up, it wraps around and appears down here at the bottom. And if it disappears on this side, it appears on the other side. Stop. Go back to Xcode. Before I update the position, 
I will check the boundaries. Paste some code. If the Y position is more than 320, then we decrement it by 320. If the Y position is less than 0, then we increment it by 320. And likewise for the X position. Let's run this. The airplane goes up and wraps around, goes to the right and wraps around. And now we can move our airplane without being afraid to lose it. You can of course do much more with this example. For instance, add a sneaky button here so that the air fighter can fire missiles. You can have a background moving here, giving the impression that the airplane flies through the air. Some obstacle enemies coming from the right that you need to avoid, or maybe some enemies shooting at you. And of course, lot of sounds and maybe a score. Well, you get the idea. Thank you for watching.